So as I continue to knock out these little videos, I'm thinking I might do some um, referring to classic Monty Python sketches. Uh, let me say why. Um, I remember in biology at school doing the simple experiment where we would take a stalk of celery and plop it in a dish of blue dye and then watch as the blue dye rose up through the plant, drawn up by capillary action. That's how we revealed capillary action. And I think what Monty Python did at the end of the 60s was to run a blue dye of absurdity through the conventional structures of post-war British society. If you take any, really, of their classic sketches, let's say the Ministry of Silly Walks, you inject the absurd walk. But what it also does is it reveals all the inhibitions and the pomposities and the stifling structures of the pinstriped suit, the bowler hat, um, the pompous manner of the man in office, his recitation of the conventions of politics. Um, I think that's what's so exciting about Python is they use the absurdity to reveal truth. Um, it's something that I sometimes do when I'm working with people. Um, I mean, as a, for instance, I, I was training some facilitators and um, they were struggling a bit with what I might call the performance element of facilitation in, in doing exercises with each other. They were coming across as a bit lacking in commitment and engagement uh, with the participants. Um, partly because they were actually doing it in English, which was their second language. Um, so I, I threw in a curveball. I said, just do that again. Do that in Dutch again, but do it in gibberish. Gibberish is just a made-up language where we replace um, our conventional words with, uh, with nonsense words. Right? Like, that's a bit of gibberish. Uh, they looked at me like I was slightly mad, but they had a go and they did it in gibberish. And as soon as they slip into gibberish, they gesticulated more, they became bigger. They, there was an element of absurdity about it. Things got exaggerated in caricature, but there was more life in it. And funnily enough, when they then switched back to English, after a couple of goes in gibberish, there was actually much more life in what they were doing. And that, I think, is something that inspires me working with people. Um, and there'll be more to follow, so I hope to see you again. Thanks. Mm -hmm.